Hi, I'm Jeff. Thanks for stopping by the channel. This is just a brief review and a detailed installation guide for the Goose Gear stainless steel drop down table for the sixth generation Ford Bronco, uh, years 21 and later. It's a uh, really nice piece of gear I have here. I like it for a couple of reasons over uh, some of the competition out there, which uh, is frequently about priced half as much. This runs you around $500. You can certainly find tables for uh, half the cost out there. I think the advantage and why I chose the Goose Gear is that uh, one, it's uh, food grade stainless steel. Uh, it looks like it's a uh, 304 uh, stainless steel like I've got on my outside grill here. Uh, this will never corrode or rust, so it's really thick gauge. has a nice, very tight fit and cutting board on it. Um, and then the other feature I like about how they did this is it's got a stainless steel locking system. So instead of having a cable that supports it on either side, you've kind of got a nice open space here with no cables in the way. And it's really solid. I believe they say it will support 45 pounds of weight on it. And then a nice cutting board that's built into it here. And what I really like also, this thing will not vibrate. I've already have been driving around over bumpy roads and stuff, and there's no sound or vibration. And the uh, dual stage locking mechanism on it, you can go ahead and just, with one hand, at least see the lock and pull it down. So single hand operation, you don't need to put two hands on it to open it up. But anyway, that's a quick review. So stainless steel, nice cutting board that you can push out underneath this here and aluminum powder coated in the back. Uh, six uh, screw points. You're gonna have to drill into your vehicle to do that. The guide shows you how to do it that I've included on here. But anyway, hope you liked the uh, review and uh, give me any feedback if you have any questions. Thank you for stopping by. So when you scan the QR code of your uh, Goose Bronco table, you see the instructions tell you to put on a, a weather stripping around the outer edge, which they provide for you. And then uh, your next major step is gonna be to hold up the table against the back of your Bronco tailgate to uh, get it aligned and mark where the holes are gonna be. I find that uh, a little cumbersome to do. I'd rather work with a template. So using the box that it came in, I just cut off a big piece of cardboard here. And I've made a carefully cut, nice perfect template here uh, that's the exact same size as the actual table there with all the points on it. And I'll go ahead and flip this over and I'll mark the holes into my template and then use the uh, template for measuring where I'm going to uh, drill the screws into the back of my uh, interior side of my tailgate for mounting this thing. But anyway, just one idea I find a little easier than actually managing the entire table itself, which is pretty heavy. It's a really solidly built table here, but I don't want to hold this up against the back of my vehicle trying to uh, mark off these. It tells you to use a second person, which I think if you use the uh, table to do this and hold it level, uh, you would definitely want a second person there to hold it up for you. Here's the table open, how it'll hang on the vehicle. You can see I've got it laying on top of my cardboard template. You can see I use a razor to cut it right along the edge, so it uh, very precisely matches it. So I can work with the cardboard template for marking off the holes on my Bronco instead of uh, trying to hold up the uh, entire table against my Bronco for where I'm gonna mark these holes. But just a suggestion, I think, to make it a little bit easier. Again, this thing is really solid. It's currently got the protective film over the uh, top of the stainless steel, which I'll leave on until I get it installed. And then with the uh, table set up over the top of my uh, cardboard template, really lined up well. And I've just gone with a pen and poked a hole in the dead center of each of these holes, all six of the holes, and just make sure they're perfectly centered. Minimize any error as you go from one template, marking your vehicle, and then drilling holes. Once you've got your template marked up and uh, double check your markings, put it back on, make sure they really align, that it didn't slide on you because you don't want to drill holes in your vehicle and have them not perfectly aligned. So just make sure you double check everything. As I say, measure twice or maybe five times before cutting or drilling. 
and then uh, even mark your template to make sure you have your top orientation there and don't get confused and take it out to your vehicle upside down. You can see the uh, notch up here corresponds with the notch on the back of the uh, table here. And I've got an easy template to go out and mark up the vehicle. And I'll keep these holes really small. I'm gonna use a very small drill bit once I get this lined up on my vehicle to just make a very small mark on the inside. So I'll get this taped onto the inside of my vehicle, make sure it's all perfectly aligned, and then just uh, use the smallest hole here. I don't wanna make these large. It just gives me more chance of, if I'm at the top of this hole and at the bottom of this hole, you start to have alignment issues when you put this on. So I'd keep these holes as small and precise as possible for uh, making the center of your drill point. This is the uh, template installed. You can see the uh, top edge level with the uh, top of the uh, rail. And my markings. And with the template removed, I just put a touch of uh, ink to help mark them. There's the, uh, the spots. That's with the uh, holes drilled out. And I actually went and sprayed a little uh, clear Rust-Oleum on each of the uh, four holes. Just, I don't think there's a real rust issue there. It's a dry surface, but for a little protection over the uh, bare metal. So when you've got your holes drilled, the next part is to install a uh, rivet nut into this hole. And the way you're gonna do that, they supply the tool here. It's got a ridge on the bolt, so the smooth side of this bolt goes against the uh, screw head. And the ridged part goes up against the outside portion of the rivet nut. You just take it, screw it on, just finger tight. Just has to be snug. And then put the rivet nut into the hole, which is a pretty tight fit. And then just screw in the rivet nut. You'll feel it start to bite and tighten up. And it's like uh, 10 pounds of force or so. And you just keep screwing it in until you feel like a solid resistance. And you don't need to go crazy with this thing. So it's pretty snug resistance right now. So I don't want to over torque it. So that's all you do. And then you just back out the screw. And now you have a uh, threaded screw for a mount in the sun.
going to pull off the uh, protective film here in a few moments. This thing is really solid, no rattling. the finished product really solid feeling and the board even is like a really takes a lot of force to slide it it isn't gonna like slip out on you and it's easier to push out from this side to extend it And this is not going to wobble, make any noise in your vehicle, because it's just really a very well built. Very pleased with it. And yeah, it does have an angle uh, across, so you can see I mounted the back plate evenly, but it does have an angle, and that's to compensate for the fact that the tailgate angle goes out. But when it is down, it's nice and level. So uh, they thought that out pretty nicely. So you can see how there's an angle across the. Uh, bottom of the uh, tray table or table relative to the door and that's to account for the the angle of the door when it opens up. <laughs> 